Hello guys, I'm Sundurnax. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be doing that onto the benchmark on the iPhone SE second generation. Let's get started. Alright guys, so we got a brand new iPhone SE laying on the table. Let's take a look at it. And uh, as you can see, all of the apps are just closed. Now let's go into the settings and uh, battery, battery health. And as you can see, we get a 100% of the maximum capacity of the battery health so it means that the battery is completely new and the battery shouldn't affect the uh, score that we'll get in the, uh, the benchmark so let's just go to the app and do a test on to two Before doing a test, I also want to go into the My Device tab and here in the My Device tab we can uh, see the iOS, this is the iOS 13.6.1 as you can see and the iPhone SE 2, a mm, and Bionic chip, 12 megapixel camera, nothing special but yeah, mm, frequency as you can see, alright so that's it, well, let's close the tab and actually start the test. As you can see, we get a smooth animation here. I was doing the test also on my previous iPhone SE first generation, and uh, this benchmark here wasn't that smooth. There was a bit of the frame drops, and um, and the graphics didn't look that good as on the iPhone SE second generation. But it's obvious, so yeah.
Alright guys, so we finally after the test and as you can see we get a score of 486,762 points which is incredible. It's way higher than on my old iPhone SE's first generation which is obviously expectable. Alright, so now let's go over into the other tests and other results of the test such as the CPU, GPU, memory and the UX. So the CPU, we get a score of 152,000 points and now 263. Um, and here are some other, you know, results of the test such as the mathematical operations, common algorithms, multi-core and some other ones. And now we have the GPU score, which is set on the 189,763. Um, yeah, so that's it. Memory at 65,071. And the UX score of 79,665. Alright, so that's it. Now, let me just compare the score into the other phones in the market. So, in order to do this, let's go into the ranking tab. And as you can see, in the first place, we got the iPad Pro 4, yeah. then the iPad Pro 3, iPad Pro 4, and some other iPads. Then in the fifth place, we got an iPhone 11 Pro Max, iPhone 11 Pro, iPhone 11. And uh, on the ninth place, we got the iPhone SE, mine iPhone SE, second generation. Um, yeah, so. The score is a little bit worse than on the iPhone 11 because of the one less gigabyte of RAM um, on the iPhone SE, so yeah, this is why the score is lower. But the score is still pretty high, as you can see on the 11th place we got the iPhone SE second generation, just the other model. So somehow it means like the mine iPhone SE is actually better than the iPhone C that they used in the benchmark, so I don't know what it means, but this is how it looks like. Then we have the iPhone XS and yeah, some other iPhones. Let's scroll down a bit. And on the 25th place, we get an iPhone S, a first generation with a score of 179,703, which is not even the half of the performance of the new iPhone C. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. This is how it looks like the new iPhone SE. Second generation. I'll be just doing more videos about the phone on my channel because this is for what I bought the phone and just see you in the next videos. Bye.